But then we want to look at justice. And the very first question we, we are going to ask ourselves, which will serve as our basis, is what exactly is justice? And I add, some people may at times want to interchange it with civic. There are two different things. Civic is just uh, uh, doing righteous deeds or be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, be truthful. But there is a difference between being truthful and being just. The difference between doing good and being just. They are not the same. If you do good, it's for you. You may decide to do good, you may decide not to do good, and allow the judge be accordingly. But whenever it comes to argue with his justice, you don't have option of picking, or you don't have an opinion or an option that maybe I want to be just or I decide not to be just. No. Amorum Makdiya, you must be just. So and that's the reason why you don't have choice. And I have made it an Amorum Makdiya that everybody must be just. It is, a, it is a commandment from Allah that you must be just. Now, <clears throat> looking at what justice is, we going to look at it from various, from various uh, aspects. One of our contemporary scholars that is well known, that has written vastly on Islamic uh, uh, jurisprudence and Islamic matters, he look at it from three different angles and he defined it separately. He look at justice as pivot upon which heavens and earth and all within it were built. Model Samarwat wal Abdi wa ma fihima. Model Samarwat wal Abdi wa ma fihima. The pivot upon which heaven and earth and all within them were built. And he quickly went into the verse of the Quran, Surah Al Rahman, verse 7 to 10. Where Allah said, Call the Ta'ala, for Samaha, for Fa'ala, for Wada and Mizan. And the thirty ground in Mizan. You know, when Allah was talking about the creation of heaven and earth, at the point in time, he swapped into talking about scales, into talking about weights, through which we use to transact within ourselves. And he said, What's Look at it. You know, you know, Allah has a very beautiful way of, of talking. He has a very beautiful way of expressing itself. That is the Quran. He said, What's Samaha? Look at the summer, look at the heaven, the heaven. Rafa Aha, Rafa Samar, Rafa, I said, Rafa Aha, Rafa Wabu Aha, and Minza. He said, We lifted the heavens high. We suspended, suspended the heaven as an ice scooper. We leave it there. Wawada and Minzan. But we make sure that we do what? We put in place and Minzan. A checks and balance. We put in place a measure. We put in place a scale. He said, why do we put a scale in why do we put a scale in place? Despite that we suspended the heavens without any pillar holding it. But why is that Allah now make available for us a scale? He said, Allah, that Yahu fill me So that in your transactions, none of you will transgress fill me in the use of weight or in the use of scale. Because ordinarily, if we decide to say that, let us just, don't let us make use of weight. Let me just say that, uh, if I put this side and this side, they are the same, just carry one. The tendency that one will be more than other is high. And that's said, for what the means are. But we put in place for you what and means are, scale, weight. And that is their hope in that. So that none of you we transgress and we go out of it, out of this way in the Mizan in the course of measuring. As simple as we feel that measuring is. And I said, none of you should transgress, none of you should go astray when it comes to measuring. You are to divide something into two or into ten places for ten people, then you must make sure that you observe just measurement. Working on the wasna, he said, we put in place for you a wasna, a scale, be requesting with justice. We put in place for you a scale with what? Justice. What I took zero in his hand. Let none of you tamper with the design, with the scale. 
like most of us used to do that whenever we want to most of the time do that sales market, we they said I'm sending one call to you. But we won't call in one way and we were crunched in to reduce the value of the content. And I said, but I took zero with that. Dare not, you dare not do that. Do not tamper with the scale. Be just with the scale. Well, I don't know what I have in Anomi, but for the fact that this art has been put in place for the benefit of humanity. The scholars also look at what justice is as an attribute. Sifatun means sifat in light, Ta'ala. That if you, if, you, if you ask yourself, what is justice? They will say justice is one of the attributes out of the numerous, numerous attributes of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which means Allah bear the name as a just God. For you to know the enormity of justice, he said, one of my attributes that you can attribute with me is justice. And he said in the Quran, Shahid Allah, and I was talking, he said, Allah himself, Shahid Allah, Allah be a witness. For you to know that when Allah wants to talk about a thing, and he wants you to know how beautiful that thing is, or how big that thing is before him, there are some certain, uh, there are some certain just compositions that Allah will use. Just for you. It's not because Allah cannot just tell you directly, but he wants you to know how big and how heavy that thing is. He wants to talk about justice for us. And he said, Shake it Allah. Allah be a witness. The all the angels. As well, also be a witness. What who do the enemy and the scholars and true, both true bearers of knowledge for human beings that are just, that you actually observe justice, not just any scholar. Which means Allah wants to testify to certain things. He said, and he said, those that their testimony hold water. Awu, Allah Himself, His angel, Wahulu Elmi, for He did not use an adjective to qualify because every Wahulu Elmi, we can have those people that possess that they are that knowledgeable, but possess uh, knowledge of Shaitan. They are also scholars, and we can have scholars that are not that are not of God. So Allah decided to use an adjective to qualify His own people and said, Wahulu Elmi, for Imam Ben Kisti. Those that are that usually stand by justice. For you to know how important justice is. That for the fact that an individual stands by justice and possess little knowledge, and I has categorized such a person as one of those people that will bear witness from those things that Allah and his angel also bear witness. 